Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Jalissa. How you doing? I hope everyone's good. I hope everyone's blessed. If you're new to my channel, a little hug for you. What's up? Welcome to the family, all right? And if you're a returning viewer, how you doing? What's going on, my OGs? Bless. Um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everybody for liking, sharing, subscribing to my channel. It's really made my channel grow tremendously in days, and I, I'm just like blessed. I feel it in my heart okay got that out the way uh so yeah if this resonates with you please like share subscribe to my channel it helps it grow so i, I appreciate that all right leave me a comment down below i love for the tea i write back to everybody all right you want a private read that information is down below as well hi my beautiful souls how are you guys doing i hope everyone's blessed okay today jalissa is coming to you with a different type of energy yeah so I got a request by a few subscribers um, in regards to a third party situation. So we're gonna do a pick a card reading for those who are in a third party situation to see what your person feels about you, about the other person, and um, what you can expect, right? All right, and yes, this will get very triggering. I am warning you in advance. So please don't watch this if you are sensitive and you, um you know i mean we're all sensitive of course but you know like I, I, if you're very if you get triggered very easily i don't advise you to watch this all right but we are going to do the reading and we are going to come up with the most authentic information okay so this is going to be pile one puffy stuff cotton candy pile two blow pop cherry pile three lucky charms all right now i am going to be using all three ducks so i just put the ducks there so i can help you resonate more with a pile okay if you feel like the pile doesn't resonate with you or is in your story um you could definitely pick another pile okay and bless let's get into it guys all right ready set go let's go hey paul one how are you doing sweethearts bless welcome welcome to the reading today let's start with your angel number okay so spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guys what is the angel number for paul one your number is 2542 okay 2542 go on google put that in angel number meaning and that is a message Phone spirit to you. You guys chose fluffy stuff, cotton candy, okay? We got two different flavors here, all right? So you guys could be very different, this third-party scenario, you and the other person, okay? All right, so this is very, like, a little weird for me, but I am going to do it. I've done it before for personal readings, and um, so here we go, okay? So spirit... Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please come through and help me channel the messages here for Pa One and their person. This is in regards to a third party situation with Pa One. Can you please tell me what Pa One's person feels for them at this time? What is the energy for Pa One? Tumbling down My angel now Wow Calling in your soulmate Your prayers, affirmations, and visualization Help bring you together Alright, so your person feels that you are Their soulmate, okay Now let's see what your person feels for their third party Let me lower this a little Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys What does Whoa okay <laughs> i didn't even ask the question all right so what does pa one's person feel about the third party situation all right finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now all right so there are some financial financial factors when it comes to this third party situation and for some of you guys children are a factor okay so i see that they are calling you in you they feel that you are their soulmate this third party situation their feelings are really about endeavor not endeavors but foundation all right like home money 
career, some of you guys' children, all right? That's what their relationship is more about, all right? But let's get into what's really going on here. What do your, your person really feel here, all right? Like I said, um, I don't want to trigger anyone, all right? Fair warning. All right, so Spirit, Ancient Ancestors, Universe, Spirit, guys, please come through and help me channel the message here today for Pa One and their person. What does Pa One feel for their person? What does Pa One? No, first question is mind space. What does Pa One think about their person? What is Pa One's thoughts about their person? Pa One. Pa One's person. What do they think about them? Page of Pentacles. All right. So they're very, they're very grounded when it comes to you, okay? So they think longevity, all right? This is a very starting stage energy, all right? So they are seeing the beginning of a long connection, all right? The beginning of a very grounded connection. That's what they are thinking of with you, all right? So they're thinking of something very solid, all right? Starting this journey with you, all right? Now, let's see what your person is thinking about for their third party. What is their mind space about this person? All right, so spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides. What does Pa One's person feel? No. What does Pa One's person think about the third party individual? What does Pa One's person think about the third party individual? All right, we have Ace of Cups, all right? So they have feelings for this person as well, all right? There are some financial issues, some issues with careers with this person. Um, I see like foundation issues, all right? Like home, money, stuff like that. But they do have love for this person in their mind, all right? They think about the connection and the love, all right? So let's see what they feel about you, Paul One. Spirit, ancient ancestors, spiritual guys, please come through. Help me channel the message. What is Pa One's person feeling for Pa One? What does Pa One's person feel? All right, we have the lovers, okay? So they are feeling this connection, all right? There's a choice they need to make, and they know this for sure. But they're definitely feeling this connection. The lovers, that's a very strong sign. They have love for you, my friend, all right? And they feel it in their heart, all right? Knight of Wands, all right? This this is a very, all right, so with the Knight of Wands, this is a very playboy, playgirl type of energy, very flighty energy, but very passionate as well, Um, very sexual energy, okay, as well. So, like, I see that this person is very passionate about you, all right? You make them feel very impulsive. This person wants to rush in on you, all right? The lovers, they want to rush in on you because they're, they they want to make this choice. They want to make a choice here with you to make you their person, okay? And let me get one more. Spirit, one more. What is Pa One's person feeling? Knight, oh, King of Cups. Oh, they not only are they passionate about you, baby, but they have a lot of feelings for you, all right? I don't know if this person may have told you that they love you. I see that this person is maybe playing a little game here with you because I see them playing a game, kind of like checking checking their cards, seeing what to do next, what's their next move going to be, all right? But they feel love for you. They're very sensitive. They're very caring in nature, all right? And this person is feeling love. They're, they're, fe they're feeling the pressure, of course, also that they need to make a choice, but they're seeing you, all right? Because you're the lover. They're very passionate about you. They, they feel this love for you, and it goes really deep, all right? So, yeah, so this person is really, like, on the right track so far that I see, <laughs> all right? But on this end, you know, they're going through issues with this person as far as their foundations go. But what I see is that definitely they still have this... um like love energy because the ace of cups talks about you know starting over overflowing love you know so they are feeling this for their person as well 
all right so this is why your person also feels like they have to make a choice all right so spirit ancient ancestors general spiritual guys what is paul one feeling for paul one what is paul one's person feeling for the third party what are their feelings for the third party ace of wands all right five of wands we're gonna get one more all right ace of wands are is all about passion and new beginnings okay page of cups in reverse all right um so they have passion for this third party person as well all right with two aces that's all about beginnings wanting to start over or wanting to um start something with this third party person okay I do see that they feel the connection. There is a lot of love there, as well as for you. Um, I do see that they're passionate about the third party as well, but the five of wands is also here. So this talks about competition. This talks about conflicts, all right? So your person's feeling the conflicts and the competition and this energy of, you know, because there's a third party. So the other person is possibly aware of this third party situation. That's why there's conflicts due to a competition, all right? So I see a lot of arguments, a lot of fighting, all right? And we have the page of cups in reverse. So they also feel very immature when it comes to this person, all right? They feel like their energy for this person is like, kind of like i want to break up like they don't want to express their love there's this immaturity yeah they have love for this person yeah there is passion but there is also conflicts and arguments and they also feel like this person could be a bit immature all right they feel like this person may be a little bit bratty all right a little bit of a nagger okay um so that is definitely coming through all right with this page of cups in reverse there is a breakup energy wanting to break up possibly due to this immaturity, this bratty energy, all right? So what can Pal 1 expect from their person? Spirit, what can Pal 1 expect from their person in this third-party situation? Four of Swords, okay. We're going to get another one. Um, no. Seven of Swords. And queen of wands. All right. So you could expect your person to take some time to make this choice or decision here. They're sleeping on it. Yep. They feel like it's a lot. It's a tough decision. So what they're going to do is be sneaky. Okay. They're going to be sneaky about the situation. It, the situation is not going to go the way you expect or the way you expected. All right. So they are going to be sneaky about it. But they see you and you are such a powerful person. They feel like you're very passionate. They feel like you're very intuitive. You're very beautiful, handsome. You have just a lot going for yourself. You're very powerful. You're a go-getter. All right? So they see you, and they're very attracted to you. All right? So this person is going to try to be very sneaky, very flighty, and sleep on the situation. All right? So, Spirit, what can we expect from Pa One's person and this third party? All right, you could expect your person to feel trapped, all right, because there is this trapped energy. Your person feels trapped in this situation. They're scared. There's a lot of fear, okay? And what I see is that the third party will still exist, all right? Their walls are up when it comes to this third party individual. Their walls are up. They're not really, like, they feel like it's a lot. Like, they're working through a lot with this person. Like, it's just too much to deal with. All right, and they're scared. They're they they're they're literally scared. They're holding back. They're not busting a move with this person either out of fear. They really fear this person because this person likes to argue, nag and fight a lot. All right? Even though they do feel love and they do feel passion for this person, there is still a lot of destructive energies here. All right? They feel like they're battling with this person. And they, they're very overwhelmed. They're done. They're tired of fighting, all right? But I do see that this person feels trapped. Therefore, the third-party situation still exists, all right? And that's what I'm seeing here, guys. So not to say that things can't change, all right? 
I'm going to go into the extended. In the extended, I am going to pull what your person plans to do with you next. Okay, so if you're interested in that, I'm going to have a link down below where you could um, continue um, to the next reading there. Okay, but yeah, guys, this is this is what I came out with here. All right, so I do feel like this person has a lot of passion for you. They want something real with you. They want longevity. They see you as their lover. They're very passionate. They feel love for you, but they, they're sleeping on it because they're scared of this person. They're scared of this situation. There's a lot of fear, and I feel like this fear roots back to their finances, their foundation, okay? They're going to be sneaky with you because they don't want to lose you, all right? And why they don't want to lose you because they see you whether you're female or male they see you you're very passionate you're you're a go-getter you look good you got it going on all right so they don't want to let you go but they're scared of this person they're done they're they're really tired of fighting this person they're really at the end i see that i see they're at the end of the road with this person here because it's a lot it's a lot but they're scared of this person as well okay so all right let's get into the charmies all right <laughs> This was different. This was very different for me, but it was pretty cool. I mean, different for my channel because I've done a lot of personal readings like this. All right, let me just gather this up. And Charmies, we go. All right. Guys, this could get very loud, so please lower the volume if you're sensitive to noise. All right, so here we go. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please come through the homie channel, the Charmies for part one. All right. All right, if you're new to my channel, welcome. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the family. All right. I like to organize my charmies, okay? So I do my baby tarot first, then I do my initials, and then I get into the charmies, okay? And, um, yeah, what's going on, my OGs? How we doing? <laughs> All right, so as far as the baby tarot goes, I see that this person is very overwhelmed due to responsibilities, due to what's going on in their world they feel very overwhelmed okay they feel like everything is on their back everybody's on their back all right this person is thinking about you a lot and they're gonna want to speak to you excuse me let me see i gotta see this is such a little card yeah this person is thinking about you a lot and they're gonna want to speak to you about what they feel all right because we have the ace of pentacles here like i said we saw the page of pentacles in um the reading this person wants longevity here with you this person wants a solid grounded connection here with you all right my palm one so they're gonna want to speak to you about this as well all right so now we're going into initials all right first middle last initial we have n as in nancy nando we have x this could be your x or you know x for Excelina, xavier we have a for amanda anthony arnold we have o for oscar October. We have M for Mike, Mary, Monica. We have H for Henry, Helen, Harry. All right. We have F for Fernando, Frankie, Frank, Francis. B for Brandon, Bernard, Bruce, Brian. L for Louis, Louisa, London. All right. Another H. Uh, we have J. J for Jalissa, Justin, Jacob, Jr., um jacob yeah i said that <laughs> all right so i think that's pretty much it for their initials so far yeah and let's get into the charmies all right so you guys are spiritually guided your person feels like you're very pure all right they feel like this connection isn't is a miracle you guys are definitely blessed okay just know that you need to believe in what you are manifesting here and yeah, they're asking you to manifest, believe in what you want, all right? Your person feels that you are brave, all right? There's just this grace type of energy to you guys, my pawn ones, all right? They're very grateful. Something may have happened between you and this person in the fall, or it will, 
All right, I see that this person is obviously resting on this situation because they don't know what to do next. This person feels like you are a star, baby. You're shining, all right? You look good. You have this healing um, energy, and you're very grounded, all right? So they, they know that you're very confident, all right? This could be a soulmate twin flame connection because we have the intertwining hearts here. They definitely feel that this could possibly be, all right? Your person wants to have a peaceful resolution here. They don't want war. They want peace, okay? Your person dreams about you a lot, all right? There's a lot of dream space energy here about you. Weakness is a choice, all right? Your person feels very weak when it comes to making a ch this choice of this third-party situation, okay? It takes a big heart to teach little minds. Your person feels like you have a big, big heart, okay? Love and be loved, okay? Time is of the essence here. This could have been taking some time. I do see that your person feels like time is of the essence, um, all right? So they feel like they need some time here. Again, Spirit is asking you to manifest, okay? For some of you guys here, your person um, is very caring. There's a lot of, um, for those who are dealing with someone that has kids, they really, really care about their child or their kids, all right? And this is a factor here for some of you guys, okay? But what I see is that this person is very caring, loves kids, all right? They feel very unlucky at this time. Very, very unlucky. Every journey starts with one step, all right? So this is your person's mind space. They're, they know that all they have to do is take one step in the right direction, and they could change up all this energy here. They feel that you are beautiful, handsome. You feel like home, all right? Home sweet home. Something could have happened between you and this person during the winter, Christmas, for some of you guys. If not, you could expect it. There's some things that obviously need to be hung up here, okay? So pay attention to the red flags, okay? You have the key to this person's heart. And like I said, they're resting on this situation. They're not moving at the pace you may desire, but it's because they're deciding what to do. All right? Live in the moment. Live right now. There's a lot of mystery behind this connection, all right? A lot of mystery, she believes she could, so she did. Same thing goes for my fellas. As long as you believe in yourself, you can make anything happen here, okay? And I see that luck is on your side because we do have the clover, all right? You or your person could be a Leo, and they feel that you are very generous. You or your person could be a Sagittarius, and they feel that you're very optimistic. You or your person could be a Taurus, and they feel like you're very trustworthy. You or your person could be a Capricorn, and they feel that you're very ambitious, you or your person could be a Gemini, and they feel like you're very intelligent. You or your person could be a Pisces, and they feel that you're very intuitive. And you or your person could be a Scorpio, and they feel that you are very passionate. All right, sweethearts? So now I'm going to go to the extended where I'm going to go more into what you can expect from this person, from this third-party situation, all right? Their mind space and what they plan to do next. So if you want to see that reading, the link is down below in the description, and I will find you there. Either way, however it goes, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that this brought you light and love, and I will see you guys in the next one. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, and leave me a comment down below, okay? <laughs> All right, bye. Spirit Ancient Ancestors, hello, Pal2. Spirit Ancient Ancestors, your number is spiritual, guys. Please give me the number for Pal2. How you doing, Pal2? I hope everyone's okay. <laughs> Ew. All right, so we're starting the reading off with your angel number, okay? And your angel number is 6541, all right? Bless. Go on Google, put that in. That's a message from spirit to you. All right, sweetheart? All right, so first warning, this could be very triggering, okay? And that's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm going to be very authentic. I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? So here we go. This is going to be you. This is going to be the third party. And I'm going to pull the energies, what your person feels in regards to both individuals. All right. So spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please come through and help me channel the message here. By the way, you guys chose blow pop. All right. Beautiful. That cherry, cherry. 
all right please help me channel the energies here for pal two and their person in this third party situation what does pal two's person feel for them worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life all right so they definitely feel like you're worth waiting for all right what does pal two's person feel for the third party individual love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive all right so there is an energy here that i'm picking up on where this person feels like they're dealing with someone that has some type of insecurity or um obviously this is a third party situation maybe they have a reason but um you know they do have some type of insecurity they do feel like they love this person more than themselves if that's if that makes sense all right so this person is their energy for the third party is love yourself first all right before you love me all right so and you my guys pal two they feel like you guys are spiritually guided either your soulmates or twin flames and they feel like it's worth waiting for you all right so they're waiting for something to happen here all right so let's get into what they think about you pal one all right, spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please help me channel the message here for Pal Tu and their person. All right, there's a lot of of like the energy I'm feeling is like broken heart all right they definitely feel broken over this third party situation it really breaks their heart okay so all right so spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guys what does pal two's person think about them what do they think about what is their mind space all right they have love for you all right but they're not demonstrating it they're not showing you the love that they have for you they feel yeah they know what they want they know how they feel about you but they're not showing you they're being immature about it but they think of you and they think love all right they think that they feel like they there's this um energy of i want to show you how much i do feel for you how much i do love you but i'm holding back all right so they're holding back the fact that they love you all right and this is what they think about okay when it comes to you now Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please come through and help me channel the message here for Pal Tu and their person. So what does Pal Tu's person think about the third party individual? Whoa, <laughs> the third party situation there. Well, two, two cards came up, so I have to pull them. All right. All right. So they do have passion for this third party individual. Okay. There's a lot of passion sexual energies okay um but they feel like this situation is very chaotic okay it's as if um they feel very aggressive when it comes to this person like they get very angry they feel like there's a lot of chaos here there's very tough arguments in this third party situation they feel a little bit violent when it comes to this person at times due to arguments okay so they're they think about this they think about the arguments they think about the fights the the energy of anger all right even though they feel passion for this person as well okay so now let's see what your person feels for you all right so spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guys please come through and help me channel the message here for pal two what does Pal Tu's person feel for them? What do they feel for their person? All right. Hmm. <laughs> your person is like. Honestly, your person is um. Watching you. They're keeping a very close eye on you. They're watching you. They're watching your social media, all right? They're being very collective when it comes to you. They're keeping a close eye on you, all right? So there's a lot of spying, a lot of, I need to know what you have going on, okay? 
you are a wish fulfillment for this person all right so it's like a dream come true energy okay and i see that this person may have taken a step back from this connection all right that's why it's worth waiting for that's what i'm seeing all right this person is isolating themselves on purpose because they need to understand what to do next they need to understand where they're gonna go with this with their feelings with what they they desire all right so they're taking a moment to step within they feel very lonely right now when it comes to you all right and they're watching you they're keeping a very close eye you are their wish fulfillment you are who they want you are what they prayed for all right so there's a lot of wishing energy here they're wishing for you they're wishing for this connection to flourish okay so now let's see what this person your person feels for the third party all right so spirit ancient ancestors you know we're spiritual guys what is pal two's person feeling right now for the third party individual what do they feel for the third party individual they're not happy okay we got the four of cups they're not happy with what's going on here in this situation they have definitely been sneaky here in this situation they feel like they need to like apologize to this person before they take a leap of faith all right so there's like this energy where they're they want to mend this situation here with this person like kind of like i'm sorry that this didn't go the way you expected i'm sorry that i did this to you that i was flighty i played you you know whatever the situation that happened here you know they want to apologize and make up for it in a way where it's like, you know, I'm just really sorry. But they're bored. They're not happy. They're ready to take a leap of faith. They're ready to leave everything behind and just jump into something new. That's what they feel about this person. All right. So they're just like, kind of like, I'm sorry, but good riddance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not happy here. All right. So let's see what you what you can expect from your person. All right, it's very ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys. Please come through. Help me channel the message here for Pal Two and their person. What can Pal Two expect from their person? What can Pal Two expect from their person? No, one by one, spirit. What can Pal Two expect from their person? I don't wanna know. All right, I see that your person wants to travel here. They want to move to calmer waters with you. They want to manifest this connection here. They're, they're, they want to manifest it. They want to make something here happen. All right, and we have the lovers. All right, so your person wants to move to calmer waters with you, and they want to definitely... Um, yeah, they feel like you definitely love them, by the way. They, they're they very sure of themselves. This person is a little cocky, okay? They feel like, yeah, my per, my, my pal too loves me, all right? Um, but yeah, they want to move to calmer waters here with you, and they're, they're really manifesting this connection. They want it because you are a wish fulfillment. So they're really wishing and manifesting it into fruition, into, re into reality, into the 3D, all right? Because in the 5D, you're their person, all right? You're their lover. Because we have the lovers here. They want this connection here with you. They feel that it's a calling. Like, they need it. All right? They're very lonely without you. All right? So, let's see what you can expect from your person and this third-party individual. All right? Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides. What can we expect from Pal 2's person and the third-party individual? What does Pal 2's person plan to do with the third party individual? All right, we have the Five of Pentacles. You can expect that they feel very out in the cold, all right? We have the Death card in reverse. They feel like they have lost all hope for this connection, all right? That Death in reverse speaks to me about, um, yeah, Ten of Swords. That death in reverse speaks to me about all hope being lost and no more happiness, all right? Like, that's it. It's destroyed. We can't fix this, okay? Because they've done this person dirty, and I feel like it's been more than once, all right? So that's why they just want to leave everything behind and take a leap of faith. 
what you could expect your person to do with this person is leave them out in the cold and end this situation because it no longer serves them we got the ten of swords they don't see hope in this connection so they're gonna end it they want to end it that's it finito all right yeah because they're tired they feel like they've been fighting for this connection or fighting in this connection it's been a battle and they're just done they're tapped out they're like all right that's it like you know so that is that all right <laughs> wow okay <laughs> well kudos to you pal too <laughs> i don't you know i'm not saying that this is like i i'm supporting third parties no i'm just doing you know the reading that i was requested to do but hey it happens so we got to be realistic here so i don't i'm no judgment i don't i don't you know i ain't judging you i ain't judging nobody all right i've had my third party shares so huh anyway in the extended i am gonna go into what you can expect from your person and um yeah i'm gonna go more into what you can expect from your person more messages from well i didn't do messages but messages from your person and advice from spirit so if you're interested in that the link is down below you're more than welcome to join me there bless all right so now we're gonna go into the charmies this gets loud if you're sensitive to noise you may want to lower the volume now okay so ready set go Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please come through. Whoa, and help me channel the message for Pal 2. Alright. If you're new to my channel, welcome. How you doing, baby? Welcome to the familia. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I do my baby tarot first. So let me organize. Then I do initials. Then I do charmies. All right. So what's going on, my OGs? How we doing, baby? How's everybody doing? I hope blessed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Um. All right. We got all the cards out. Beautiful. All right. So... We have the two of wands. This person is at the fork of the road. They're at this space where they need to decide which way they want to go. All right. So they're deciding what they want to do right now. But it's taking them some time because they're very confused about what to do next. All right. So they are making a decision. They're just taking a little time because they're confused and they don't know what to do. All right. This person feels like you are very sweet, caring, warm, nurturing, all right, you're such a, you have such a big heart, all right, they feel your love, all right, and what is this, oh yeah, and I see them feeling very impulsive, they feel like rushing in on this connection, all right, so, and they're very passionate about you, they want to, they, they're very sexually attracted to you as well, okay, so now we're going to do initials first, middle, last initial, okay, we have J for Jalissa, <laughs> Junior, Justin, Jacob, Jonathan, all right? We have M, Mike, Mary, Monica, um, Michelle, Mitchell, T, Tom, Tiffany, Terry, um, A, Anthony, Amanda, all right? H, Harry, Helen, Hilton, V, Victor, Veronica, Valerio, F, Fernando, Francis, Frankie, E, Elizabeth, um, Eddie, Edison, R, Robert, Rosa, Renardo, Richard, B, Brandon, Bruce, Bernard, Brian, all right, we have another R, we have S, Sam, Smith, Scott, Samantha, we have another A, we have another F, we have an E, okay? Hold on. Another E. Take me away. All right, another E. No, 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 no. All right, now we're going into Charmies. All right, so your person feels that you are very fearless, all right? They're choosing to be strong here. They're not. They're no longer in this weakness energy if they ever were, all right? You really inspire them. They, you're definitely more than enough for this person if you didn't know that. They're keeping hope when it comes to this connection, all right? Your person was seeing things through rose-colored glasses, all right? So they weren't seeing things exactly for what they were at one point, all right? 
Um, they feel that you are beautiful, handsome. No matter where you are, no matter where they are, they're always thinking about you, all right? Right now, they feel like, like you're this beautiful thing and you're full of you're full of love and you're full of emotions and energies but they're scared to approach you on something they feel like you will hurt them all right <laughs> all right money is a factor here in this connection all right so money means a lot all right they want to mend this situation between you and them they want to fix it they want to have you in their life forever all right forever ever all right they feel like you're very loyal all right and some of you guys have a dog all right What's for you will not pass you, okay? What's for you will not pass you, baby. Spirit's letting you know. There's a need to have grace. You and your person have a past life relationship, all right? This is not the first time your souls meet. This is why your connection may feel very powerful. May, may be, it may feel very intense, okay? You definitely have the key to their heart here. You open up that heart chakra. They feel that you're very, like, there's this playful energy about you. You're very sexy. You're very good looking, all right? You may be very flexible here. They think you're very sexy. And they want to be intimate with you. They want to they wanna nut, all right? <laughs> okay. They want to have a peaceful resolution here with you guys, all right? And they are dreaming about you a lot. All right. They feel that you are young and beautiful and they will always have love for you just in case you didn't know. All right. You or your person could be an Aquarius and they feel that you're very friendly. You or your person could be a Sagittarius and they feel that you're very optimistic. You or your person could be a Libra and they feel that you are very charming. You or your person could be a Pisces and they feel that you're very intuitive you or your person could be an Aries, and they feel that you're very courageous, all right? Bless, right? So this was a positive reading, all right? It didn't come out scary, I love, okay? And um, now I'm going to go to the extended, where I'm going to see what you could expect from your person next. <laughs> all right, so the link for that is down below. If you're interested, you could join me there. Either way, I just want to say thank you. I love you. Thank you for being here today. Let me know how you feel about this reading in the comment section. All right. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell button. It definitely helps my channel. And I appreciate it. Okay. Mwah. Bye. Bless. See you in the next one. <laughs> Hey, pal three. What's up with you, baby? You guys chose lucky charms, all right? So you're definitely possibly feeling lucky when it comes to this person. All right, so let's get into your angel number first, and then we'll go into your reading. So spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, what is the angel number for pal three? All right, pal three. We have five, four, three, two, all right? 5432 is your angel number. Pile three. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. This is you, pile three. This is the third party, all right? And I am going to pull the energies about what your person is thinking, feeling, and what you can expect, okay? So let's get it. Let's go. This could be triggering just a, just a, a, a warning, all right? So <laughs> spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides. Please come through and help me channel the messages here for Pal 3 and their person. All right. I know that it could be very triggering because trust, I know. I have experience. Okay. So, Spirit, what is Pal 3 feeling for their person? No, no. What is Pal 3's person feeling for Pal 3? What is Pal 3's person feeling for Pal 3 right now? soulmate yes this is your soulmate all right so pal three your person feels that this is your you are their soulmate all right so spirit what is pal three's person feeling for the third party individual unrequited love there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going oh wow i mean it speaks for itself honey bunnies all right so your person you could expect something very soon from your person by the way your person feels like you're their soulmate all right and then your person feels for the third party that there's not a love there's not enough love attraction or chemistry at this time all right so keep this relationship from going all right so let's see what your person thinks about you pal three spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guides please come through and help me channel the message here today for pal three 
what is Pal 3's person what does Pal 3's person think about them what does Pal 3's person think about what is their mind space Pal 3's person's mind space about them page of pentacles interesting i got this for pile one as well if you resonated with that maybe you want to watch that pile that reading as well but yeah so they're they're feeling like all right i have to lower this piano they're feeling like this is um very fresh all right they're seeing a very solid long connection here all right so what they think about this connection they think that this connection could go places all right they feel like this connection could go the mile longevity all right long term grounded okay so that's what they're feeling they also feel like you're very spicy okay some of you guys could be very very attractive spicy all right <laughs> like spicy food or something like that <laughs> like sandwiches all right but they do feel like you're very spicy all right all right, so let's see. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys. What is Pal 3's person's mind space about the third party individual? What is their mind space in regards to the third party individual? All right, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. All right, there could have been a very tough ending or some space here between the third party and them. All right, this ten of swords in reverse the way they're thinking is like all right things have gone very bad between me and this person there's not enough attraction there's not enough chemistry to keep this connection going i i may they may feel like they stabbed this person in the back or this person may have stabbed them in the back okay but i'm not gonna hold you they want forgiveness they're thinking forgiveness here with this person all right they want forgiveness they want to move on they want to if they can recover it but if they can't recover it they want to just have their for, get their forgiveness for how they may have tr treated this third party individual and then move on all right because the the energies are tough over here guys okay yes they see delays with this person all right all right there's not enough energies here. It's like it's kind of like you're, they're forcing the situation over here. Okay. All right. So let's see. All right, spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please come through and help me channel the message. Thank you so much. What is Pal Three person feeling for Pal Three? What is Pal Three's person feeling for them right now? All right. O M mere the freaking G's. O M G's. All right. Your person's thinking about forgiveness here with this person and moving on. And if they could possibly recover it, they'll try. But there's not enough energy to do that right now. And what they're feeling with you is starting a new leaf here with you, too. And I'm not saying they want a new leaf with your person because I see it with the unrequited love. There's not enough love here to restart this situation with you. you they feel like you're a soulmate. So I feel like they want forgiveness here with this person and they want to start over here with you. All right. That is what I'm receiving. That is the energies. Yeah, because they want to take care of you. All right. So there could have been an ending here with you and them. They're very well aware that you're their soulmate. They feel it. They want to start over with you. They want to also ask you for forgiveness here for what may have happened in the past. They may have backstabbed you. All right. You may have felt very hurt. So they do want forgiveness from you as well. And they want to take care of you. Okay. They want to work with you. All right. For some of you guys, you may have met at work or you're affiliated through work or you're somehow connected to their endeavors. They feel like this connection, when it occurred, like it started, it was bad timing. But they do feel like it's meant to be. Like there's destiny here. They feel like this is destined, okay? So they want to start over with you. They want to take care of you. They want to lead in this connection. They want to speak to you about... They're thinking about speaking to you about giving you a solid connection, all right? And they want to work with you here, all right? They feel like they could grow something amazing here with you. All right, so let's go into your into the third party and what they feel for the third party. 
all right so spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guys please come through and help me channel the messages here um <clears throat> What is Pau 3's person feeling for the third party individual? What is Pau 3's person feeling for the third party individual? All right. They want to travel. All right. They, they may want to move to calmer waters here with this person. All right. Because I see that it's kind of like they're tired of like the tough energies. Okay. They definitely want to speak to this person about their feelings, about what they think about this connection. There's a lot of mind space here, all right? There's a lot of mind thinking, thinking, all right? There's a lot of thought about this third party situation, all right? I haven't seen the feelings yet, I guess because it's unrequited, all right? But let's see, we're gonna get one more card. Yeah, they feel like this person is um, not honest. Like, this person may have lied, all right? I do see for some of you guys that they may have a legal situation with, with this person right here. There's a lot of anxiety. They want to release this anxiety. They want to let go of this energy. Like, this person has put them through... Um, they Not that they put them through, but they have gone through a lot with this person and they just feel like a lot of anxiety they feel like they want to move on they want to move to calmer waters all right they want to speak to this person about what they feel and how they feel like they're not keeping it real and they're very cold and they're not honest about this connection and they want to balance the scales like they want justice for this situation all right so they do want to keep it real with this person i do see that if there, I do see there could be a legal matter here with this third party individual and they just want justice. They want things to be fixed as far as the scales go. All right. This is a lot of energy, not emotional energy, more like mind space energy because there's everything is swords, 10 of swords, six of swords, page of swords, queen of swords. And then we have justice. All right. So there's a lot of thinking about this connection, but not I, so far. I don't see emotions. All right. And there's a lot of anxiety here, all right? A lot of anxiety, like, oh my gosh, all right? But they're releasing this anxiety. They no longer want to be in this energy of anxiety, all right? So let's see what you can expect from your person, pal three. All right? I do see that they would like a family here with you or they would like some type of connection here with you. They don't already have it. A family, a home, if they don't really have that with you. I see that they do desire this if, you know, like I said, if you don't already have it. Mm -hmm. Spirit, ancient ancestors, generous spiritual guys. What can Pal 1 expect from their person? All right, you can expect your person's energy to be all over the place. All right, this person's a little bit unsure of what exactly they want to do here. They know what they want. They're very grounded. This person likes to lead. They like to be sure. Like I said, they feel like this is destined. They feel the soulmate energy, all right? But their energy is all over the place. Like, they feel a little bit like a fool for you. You make them feel like a fool, all right? So their energy is, like, all over the place right now because they don't know how to ask you for this renewal, this restart, all right? But they feel very fortunate to have you in their life. They feel very lucky. They feel like this situation is definitely faded, okay? And they have a lot of love for you. So you could expect some type of romantic gesture, some type of love, some type of emotion from your person, all right? So there's a lot of emotion here for you. They definitely want to take care of you. And they feel very fortunate to have you, all right? They feel like it's faded, okay? Yeah. They're holding on to you. This person's stressed about money, but they're holding on to you and the idea of this connection, all right? So let's see what you could expect from them and this third party. All right? Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, please come through and help me channel the message here for Pal 3. What can we expect from Pal 3's person and the third party in 
individual. What can we expect from Pal 3's person and this third party situation? You could inspect, inspect. They're definitely inspecting this person. They're they're really looking into this person because they're thinking a lot about this person, but in a sneaky type of way. They feel like this person isn't being honest. There's something very sneaky about this person. They feel like they're wearing a mask. There's a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a lot of crying, a lot of trying to figure things out here, okay? And what you could expect is that this person's going to take a step back from this person. They're going to go hermit on this person. Meaning that they're going to take a step back in general. They're going to isolate themselves from this connection to understand this connection even more. And to see what they're going to do next in this connection, right? Because I see that, yep, tower moment. They're not happy with this, okay? So you could expect a tower moment with this connection over here where they're not happy, is being destroyed, is being destroyed. You know why? Because they feel like this person has been lying, they feel like this person has been fake. This person has been wearing a mask. They haven't been real in this connection. There's a mask. This person has been faking it. So they're going to address this. There's going to be a tower moment. This tower that they've built is built with lies. So this tower is going to crumble down to reveal all the lies and everything that's going to happen here. So that's what you could expect from your person. All right. And this third party situation that is powerful all right whoa all right <laughs> cool all right so hope you guys really like this now we're gonna go into the charmies that wasn't a bad message that was pretty cool right guys let me know in the comment bar and now we're gonna do the charmies okay so in the extended because i am gonna go off to the extended after this reading I am going to pull what you can expect, like more about what you can expect from your person and more about their movements and their feelings. All right. And I'm also going to be pulling um, messages from your person and advice from spirit. So if you're interested in that, the link will be down below for you to select. OK, OK. <laughs> Ready, set, go. This gets loud. So if you're sensitive to noise, you may want to lower the volume now. All right. Spirit, ancient ancestors universe spiritual guys please come through and help me channel the charmies for pal three all right all right pal three what's under here oh f the letter f was under the thing hiding all right all right, so let's get it. Let's go. If you're new to my channel, welcome, baby. Welcome to the familia. All right. Um, I like to organize my um, charmies here. I do baby tarot first. Then I get into the initials and then I get into the charmies. All right. So give me a second. What's going on, my OGs? How we doing, baby? <laughs> I hope everyone's okay. Oh, we got a lot of baby tarots here today. Bless. All right. Um, wow, we got a lot of baby tarots. mm-hmm all right is that all is that all <laughs> all right your person feels very impulsive when it comes to you they want to rush in all right they want to rush in very passionately on you but they're very confused because they know they have to make a decision and they're stuck on this decision right now they're at the fork of the road because they're making this decision which way they're gonna go so they're making a change in direction this person is very like confident and grounded about what they feel here for you all right so they know what they feel they know what they want and we have the ten of cups they want family they want um i think i said that in the reading right they want family they want like the ultimate love all right and they want to work with you all right some of you guys could have met in work or during work or something of that nature okay i do see that your person is not happy in their world right now they're not satisfied all right they're pretty bored all right, so now we're going to go into first, middle, last initial. All right, we got T as in Tom, Tiffany. All right, we got P as in Paul, Patricia. H as in Harry, Helen. R as in Rosa, Ronald, Richard. M as in Monica, Michelle, Mike, Mitchell. Q as in Quinn, Quintel, 
um, Queen, <laughs> F as in Frank, Fernando, Francis, A as in Amanda, Arnold, Arthur, N as in Nando, Nancy, all right, E as in Elizabeth, Eddie, Edward, Edison, J as in Justin, Jacob, Jalissa, Jr., all right, S as in Scott, Smith, um, Samuel, all right, we got, what is this, another J? Yeah, that's another J. We have a heart here, so there's definitely love in this connection, all right? Is there another letter? I don't see, but if there is, I'll definitely say it when I find it, all right? So let's get into the charmies, all right? So this person feels that you are beautiful, handsome, all right? They want you to be yourself, all right? For some of you guys, the animal, the bee, all right, signifies something here. Weakness is a choice, all right? Weakness is a choice, all right? This person may have made some weak choices in the past, all right? This connection is protected by spirit, by ancient ancestors in the universe, all right? This situation was made with love, that's right. Made with love, baby. All right, there's a need to have patience when it comes to this person. You or your person loves football. <laughs> Ow. All right, we're all mad here. This person may be very different. You may be very different, all right? But that's okay. Different is amazing. I love different, all right? Five of Wands, there definitely is competition here. There's a lot of conflicts over the competition, all right? Spirit wants you to believe in what you are manifesting here in life, okay? There's a need to have grace, all right? This person has been dreaming about you a lot, all right? And money is a factor in this connection, all right? So there's money matters. They're concerned about money, their foundations, all right? This person feels very unlucky when it comes to love, but they are very lucky because they met you. Hello, all right? They feel you are lovely, all right? There's a lot of messages coming through for you through music, so pay attention to the songs that you keep hearing, all right? And I definitely see some of you guys could be singers or into music or work in the music industry. All right. So I'm seeing that there's a lot of mystery to this connection. This connection goes deep. All right. And they see you as a star. All right. You guys, the, definitely you guys could be star, uh, star seeds here. All right. The universe is protecting you. You are backed by the universe. All right. This person really likes your style. They like the way you dress. They like, the, you, they like how unique you are, okay? They find that very, very attractive. Every journey starts with one step, all right? So this person knows all they have to do is take one step forward and the journey has begun, but they're a little nervous right now, all right? Because they got to situate this karmic situation, all right? Some of you guys are from Paris. Shout out to all my international peeps. I love you guys. Bless. I'm going to do a whole lot of traveling and um, after, you know, this COVID situation situates itself but you know yeah shout out to people from paris but i do see paris here some of you guys are from paris i do see travels in your futures and definitely love making its way back to you baby okay your person sees you as a star they see you you're wonderful you're grounded you're definitely shining and you're holding space all right you're not letting anyone step over you there is a lot of mystery to this connection, all right? There's a lot of depth to this connection. It's coming out a lot, all right? You or your person could be an Aries, and they feel that you're very courageous. You or your person could be a Scorpio, and they feel that you're very passionate. You or your person could be a Sagittarius, and they feel that you're very optimistic, okay? You or your person could be a Scorpio, and they feel that you're very passionate, all right? You or your person could be a Leo. They feel that you're very generous, okay? You or your person could be a Gemini, and they feel that you're very intelligent, okay? You or your person could be an Aries, and they feel that you're very courageous, all right? You or your person could be a Cancer, and they feel that you're very imaginative. We got Scorpio again. We got Aries again. And we got Aries again. Lots of Aries energy here. Go-getters, leaders, yes. All right, so <laughs> bless, guys. I hope you guys really like this. I'm now going to go into the extended where I'm going to pull more with about what you can expect from this person and their feelings and m messages from your person and advice from spirit, all right? So bless. If you want to join me, the link is down below in the description. I will see you there. 
Either way, I just want to say thank you for being here. I love you guys. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified when I post. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>